Hello everyone, and welcome back to part two of this Break Pass series at the Celestial Cleveland Golf Club. And yes, that was my voice. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Please slap a like if you are and subscribe to the channel because it is free and it would really help me out, so thank you. We somehow went all over the show with double bogeys, birdies, bogeys, pars, and made it to one under par. Here we are on the 10th with driver in hand. Wind absolutely whipping. But I think I've hit a good one. I'm not really sure. It looks looks straight. We have. Look at us. About 50 yards short of the green and slap bang in the middle of the fairway. And this is definitely open season on the birdie front. What have we got though? Looks decent. Oh my word, that looked like it nearly landed in the hole. Took an unusual bounce, but we'll take it. This left for birdie then. Lovely looking skyline. Except for the cranes. That is one of the things about Cleveland. It's just an unbelievable course, right on the sea. Beautiful links. And then there's just weird stuff everywhere as I have poured that one in for the first hole birdie. And we're two under, just like that. And absolutely spuffing over things. Shouldn't have said that. Moving swiftly on. Another par four then. Hole 11. And driver in hand. Surprise, surprise. It does seem like if I get this club working that I do seem to score rather well. So long may that continue as I blaze that one right as soon as I said that. And found ourselves in some reasonably thick rough. Got about 140 in with the wind off the right hand side. Ball just didn't move from where I was aiming it. So I've got nine iron. Can I make this to the green? And that's a resounding note. I stare at the light, but I'm not really sure what happened. I just didn't connect with the ball whatsoever. So we're left with 70 yards to go and need to get up and down for par. What can we do from here? A uh, little disclaimer again that we were playing a 2v2, as you might be aware, if from the first video, which I've linked down below, so don't forget to watch that first, otherwise you won't have a clue what's happening here or where I'm at. But I nearly hold that approach. Um, yeah, there were some very, uh, shall we say, friendly gimmies awarded here, so whatever I score here, take that with a little pinch of salt, because I could have missed a tiddler. But I've definitely missed that one. As we look out over the motorhomes, they're not even motorhomes, they're static caravans, but that's a bogey. Shouldn't detract from that. And we're back to one under. Not that I'm complaining even in the slightest. Can't really see here, but we're aiming at that church spire in the distance with the wind off the right yet again. That should help us draw it with this hole. But it, I have in fact hit a fade into the wind, kind of. But it's worked out perfectly. Not really much idea where I'm going, so I'm basing it off my playing partners helping me out, so that's good. Love the course though, played it once, remember it well. Here we go then, middle of the fairway. Pin over on the left should suit me here, just to swing one in, which I've attempted to do and failed miserably. Fortunately, I've got a very friendly bounce there and it's still working its way back towards the flag, but not great from 110 yards. But we're on the green and not going to be too upset about that, in all honesty. This for birdie then, and to get back the bogey that we got on the last, straight away, bounce back ability and all that nonsense. Uh, never mind. No, oh, it's actually trying to come back. But that was a terrible putt, and we'll walk off with a tap in four. Or so we hope. I am actually attempting to tap this in. That was nonchalant. Oh my goodness. Thank God for that. So 13th then, another mid-range par 4 with the, the Yorkshire steel, in the, it's not even Yorkshire steel, it's British steel, an absolute mass of crazy chimneys and factories, driver in hand then, still searching for this break par, but we're on track here at one under, and that's another one that's going to find the fairway, albeit just on the left side, but that doesn't matter, because I'll tech it. 
And here we go then. Another cheeky 100 yard shot in. And you'd like to back yourself from here. Wind out of the right and flag on the left. So that should help us swing the ball in. I've got that all wrong because the wind is off the left. And the pin's on the left. But we've done a good job. Don't want to be missing that left and getting too cute with things. This for birdie then. All of 15 feet and pretty much straight up the slope as we look at it. Can we roll in a putt? Again. Looking good. Oh, baby. Come here, boy. The 2v2 is just an absolute procession at this point. There's my playing partner, Paul, who was giggling away in the background there. It was about 10 under his handicap at this stage, so... Say what you will about that and the handicap system. As we look on, 14, driver, slaughtered down the fairway, or so we thought. I've hit this exactly where the members told me to, on a right to left dog leg. But this is where it's ended up. And I'd love to know your thoughts on how you would play this. With my spindly legs, I'm just trying to hold on for dear life and actually make contact with the ball because it is about two feet below the level of my feet. Absolutely anything could happen here. And I've actually struck it incredibly well, although I missed it a bit right, ended up on the path, had nowhere to put my camera whatsoever, dropped my ball, chipped it to here, and this is the par. And a quite miraculous one at that, even though we thought we did a good tee shot. Oh my goodness me, what a par that is. That could be all time, actually. On to 15 then, and we're somehow still two under par, and another par three, and so far at Cleveland, I have struggled massively. This one's into the wind and off the left. So we've aimed it left, pulled it left, and it's staying left. Oh dear. And just to add to that, it's way short as well, so we still have a 25 yard chip here, and we're struggling to get a par, if I'm being honest. Not really had that many chips today, so you would like to see one get close. But I've not hit that anywhere near hard enough, and it has to roll out incredibly far, which it hasn't. And now we have a test for par. I'm afraid my camera work is abysmal here, so you can't actually see the ball, but this should be moving from left to right, as you could probably see from the chip. And considerably, what have we got? Looking half decent. No, nope. just gave it a bit too much respect. But another nonchalant. My word. It's a good job there were gimmies. Anywho, back to one under and where we started the video. And three holes left. And this is a very tough driving hole, which is why I've got a hybrid. You do not want to miss right or left. And I've skied it. Thank God I skied it because it started right of where I was aiming and would have been absolutely atrocious had it not got battered by the wind. And we found the fairway somehow. I think I need to go and put some money on the lottery because I've got all the luck today. This is a wedge from 130 with the wind whipping off the right and I don't really have a left to right shot in me with the wedges. And I've pulled that left and I'm hoping it's stayed on the green. Which it has, fortunately, but we are left with quite a long swinging putt for par. It's not for par, it's for birdie, apologies. But we would like to just get up and down for par from here. Can we just get a solid two putt in? Could do with my uh, playing partners being generous, maybe? And yes, they were. It was a pretty good putt, to be fair, and that was conceded for par. Say what you will, I don't care, I'm running off and picking up the ball. Last two holes then, and another dog leg from right to left. We're aiming at the church spire in the distance. That should help with the dog leg because the wind's off the right as well. And we've hit an absolute beauty. Let's go. It's getting intense now because two pars will see me break par for the first time on the channel. So we have. 75 yards to go here and we just have a little sand wedge just trying to let the wind bring this one in towards a flag which it seems to be doing and yes please give it to me i've had a great day with the wedges actually i've hit quite a lot of good shots 
And we've only got four feet here. Definitely some break on this one. And this would be a birdie, and this would take us to two under and dizzy heights. Slash headaches and nosebleeds. Can we make it? Well, I've dribbled it in on the left, but I don't care. That's another birdie, and we're at minus two. And a par five to finish. With a right to left wind, which really suits me. So, all sorts of things spinning around in my head, rattling around. Trying to focus, but nervous as hell at this stage. Blown about by the wind. And tee shots pulled a tiny bit, but it's absolutely spanked and should hopefully be okay. And it is. We've got an absolutely delightful lie in the first cut of rough. We have about 190 in. I'm slightly concerned about the flyer and a bit of help from this right to left wind, so I'm hitting seven iron. The flag is just on the right edge of the clubhouse behind me. And I've started that way right, but the wind is really bringing it back, and I'm hoping it's good. I'm looking to my playing partner for some help, and this is where it's ended up. And this is for Eagle, and my best ever round of four under par, and that will be a 68 round here. Uphill, bit of left to right break. Gotta give it a chance. Yeah. That was pathetic. And now we still have three feet for birdie, and we've got a hope and hole in this, otherwise, I'll be pretty annoyed with myself. Even though, for me, I should break part. Something catastrophic would have to happen. And yes, in it goes. And that is a three under par 69. Handshakes all round, firm ones for the young men. And that'll do it. I've broken par for the first time. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.